Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, just now when I was going through my freezer, I found some pork uh, sinew. Uh, chiu kiok kan. Yeah, chiu kiok kan. Pork sinew here. Uh, in my freezer from Chinese New Year. <laughs> so I, I just want to uh, use it up. I have approximately 500 grams of pork sinew here. This is super, super collagen. Uh, in order to cook this dish, I have to put in some pork leg. Yeah? So this is actually the pork trotter. Um, because uh, this particular pork trotter here, my family doesn't really know how to eat this part. They, so I actually added some pork leg, um, pork leg meat. Yeah? This is actually the, the meat taken out from the pork leg. About 300 grams here. This pork leg, uh, pork trotter here is about one kg and I also want uh, adding some uh, shiitake mushroom and you will need some uh, ginger slices shallots and also garlic so first of all what you need to do here this one is actually already blanched so you need to put it inside the cold water raise the heat until it uh, uh, until it actually boiling and you can actually add in a little bit of uh, uh, saucing wine or rice wine and few pieces of ginger. This process is for you to remove the gaminess of, from the pork trotter itself. It's a must. You cannot skip this step. You must blanch your uh, pork trotter. If not, it can be very gamey. Yeah? Okay, so after you wash away uh, all the, 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 the scums, then you have rem successfully removed at least 80 or 90% from uh, the gaminess of the pork leg and you will also need some herbs uh, I have some uh, this is cinnamon stick uh, three pieces of star anise this is bay leaf one to two pieces okay depending on your size uh, and uh, one tablespoon of raw sugar and you need some chicken stock or hot water Okay, so first of all, you need to uh, sauté the fresh ingredient here. I'm going to put in some garlic oil. Of course, you can use any vegetable oil you have. Then we are going to sauté the ginger, onion and also garlic. Sauté this for at least a minute or two before we continue. We will come back shortly. Okay, as you start seeing some of the garlic or your <coughs> onion turning yellowish, this is the time we can actually uh, add in the chicken stock. Or you can use hot water. This will not be enough. I may need to add more in order to make sure all the uh, pork and pork and uh, all the pork is actually submerged in the water. Yeah, we will we will cook the pork sinew separately yeah because we don't want it to uh, melt inside the pressure cooker if you are not if you are using a normal pot then uh, you just cook your pork leg for about one and a half hour at least yeah okay then we can Put in the pork leg. Actually, I forgot to ask them to cut it into smaller pieces. <laughs> the pork trotter is a little bit huge. It's okay. Though. The mushroom. I have removed the stem. Yeah. The mushroom water. Don't waste. Let me clear the kitchen top at the same time. And also the meat cubes uh, big cubes of course big cubes like this well, this is the meat is also taken out from a pork leg and we have this the raw sugar cinnamon stick star anise So we throw in everything beside the pork sinew, okay? Right, I just need to add a little bit more water. 
The good thing about using pressure cooker is that uh, during the cooking process, the water will not evaporate. At least 99% of the water level will be preserved. If you are using normal pot, then you have to you do have to add a little bit more water because throughout the one and a half hour cooking process, your water level will reduce. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to add in here before I top up more water is some saucing wine, a small bowl of saucing wine. Yes, Appa don't really measure. <laughs> uh, two, three round of light soya sauce. Uh, at least about, actually about four, five rounds, sorry. <laughs> and for the color, dark soya sauce. Now the thing about dark soya sauce is you just want to give the color but you don't add too much. Because if you add too much, I think I add about three tablespoons for the start. If you add too much, the whole thing will turn a little bit bitter. So you want to be careful with using the dark soya sauce. I think I will just add a little bit of water, hot water. Good to always good to have a hot water dispenser at home, right? All right, something like this. Then I'm going to close it, and I'm going to choose uh, about use high heat to cook it for about 30 minutes oh sorry not high heat high pressure to cook it for about 30 minutes okay this is after half half an hour uh, pressurized cooking and also the pressure has been reduced um, like I said earlier if you don't have a pressure cooker you need to cook at least one and a half hours yeah, in a normal pot all right Oh, super fragrant. Actually, there's one thing I forgot to add earlier on, which is salt. It's better to add salt earlier. Huh? But anyway, too late. I, I will be adding the salt right now. <laughs> it will still be salted just now because of the light soya sauce, but it's not enough. Yeah. Super fragrance. Now I'm going to take out some of the sauce here to cook the uh, pork uh, sinew. Okay. Okay, I have scooped out some braised broth. You want to get it, uh, make sure it's nicely seasoned, yeah? Nicely salted. Mmm. Mmm, nice. I'll just need a little bit more saltiness. Very nice. Tastes really, really good. Ooh, nice. Okay, then I'll put in the pork senior and uh, let it cook under medium high or medium heat for approximately 15 to 30 minutes. I'll probably give it a little bit of uh, pepper. You can give it a bit of extra flavor by putting in some fried onion if you want to, optional. So I'm going to let it cook, uh, yeah. let it simmer for probably about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, this is after approximately close to 20 minutes simmering under medium low heat. You can see the sauce, uh, the broth, braised broth has already reduced by itself, thicken up. And also all the pork senior has changed color. As in, you can tell from here, all the flavor has already gone inside. Okay, it's already done. So now I can actually serve. Okay. So basically the braised pork is done. Um, I actually put some fresh coriander on top. So here's the pork trotter. This is the pork senior. This is the mushroom. 
Okay, I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come Cooking Up on Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.